can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. So in today's video, uh, we got a few things going on. The first things first is uh, something that's been on the car for a long period of time and you guys have been mentioning it, but I haven't made a video on it. And that's because I just wanted to like test out the product, see what it really does, because I never purchased it before. And uh, you guys are about to find out in a little bit. Meantime, I do have an announcement that I'm trying to do on this channel. I'm trying to get you guys more involved at the same time, help contribute to the build. Uh, that would help me a lot. And at the same time, it'll give you guys some recognition on the wall for those of you guys who wanted to help fund the build. Meantime, before we actually get into that, what do you have to do, Johnny? Over here vlogging and stuff. I'm trying to replace my serpentine belt and pulleys and everything because my belt keeps breaking. Yeah, so, so I'm finally getting to it. Just gonna do everything. Everything better safe everything. than sorry. Uh, so he's doing that. I'm working on this wall with Jonathan. We're gonna have this entire wall right here covered, covering you guys' contribution. So down here, uh, one of you guys sent out this drawing of my 435, which is so sick. Jonathan actually has one as well. Uh, I pretty much used my desk. It's on his desk. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I actually use BMW screws to hold it up. I just think it's kind of ironic. Anywho, and uh, I think about I'm thinking about doing this whole under pretty much portion of the wall and to you guys' contributions. I'm gonna try to open up a PO box. If you guys wanna contribute anything at all, even you guys' own personal companies, whatever it may be, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on this wall for you guys. Basically just showing an appreciation. At the same time, I'm gonna try to get some banners up here. Uh, I don't know what of exactly, maybe some companies that I work with, maybe some things that you guys like. I don't know, let me know what I should probably do in terms of banners. And right here, I had this at my house, which is my 10K YouTube plaque. My 100K one's at the house, because uh, I, I love it so much, you know. I have to I have to keep it there. Um, but I have also the YouTube supporter plaques. This one was actually for the M3, and uh, have you guys' names all right here. So all the guys who've supported the M3 builds will always be recognized on the channel, like right now. So shout out to everyone here that contributed to the M3 build. Uh, for the 335 build, this is the one that I named Bullet, the one that had bolts straight through the car. Here's all the contributors in terms of companies and you guys, so shout out to everyone right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making another one. I'm actually haven't finished making it, but I'm making it for the 100K release, the Merc drop. So everyone that contributed and purchased merch is gonna be on on that plaque right there. So shout out to you guys, and you guys will be forever appreciated for that on this wall. And I'm about to start another one right here for the 650i. So I'm gonna be announcing the whole thing and how to, pretty much how to be on the, the 650i plaque. Hopefully in the next couple videos when we start working on the 650i again. Right now we're just focusing on the 435, trying to get it to 400 horsepower, make this thing a beast. And then we're gonna go ahead and get back to 650i, and we got so many things for this car. It's gonna be insane, guys. The build's gonna be insane. I'm gonna go try to get back to the whole hashtag save BMW thing. But at the same time, I do wanna stick and do some modifications to the 435 because it is my daily and I do wanna make it the best daily out there. So yeah, just a little updates here and there. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the 435. So yeah, we have a bunch of mods, but there's something that you guys have been seeing on the car. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, yeah, no, it's gone right now. It's actually removed it because basically I had something down here you guys have been asking about and uh, it's to protect this slip because you guys know what happened with the first slip. I destroyed it. The second lip, I threw it in the garbage can. Yeah, don't, I don't want to bring that up again. But anywho, uh, this is my third lip and uh, I, I don't want to do Keys Motorsports wrong. And you guys know carbon fiber lips. They're not the cheapest thing in the world. So Fitted Racing reached out to me and it pretty much got something that goes down here that's chassis mounted. It's going to fix everything. Literally covers up the bottom of my car, um, directs air into my intercooler right here, which is again also a performance thing. And then uh, protects my carbon fiber lip, r limits any bumper flip. Like, it's like a win, 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 win. I had it on the car. This is what it was. So this is a chassis mounted splitter, right? That's right. Yeah. So, and you, it, you just gonna have to explain. He's, he installed it for me. So he's gonna explain to you guys what it comes with and what it is and all that good stuff. All right, so yes, just like uh, Noah was saying, this is a splitter extension. It acts like a uh, lift protector, a chassis mounted splitter. And it's just good all around, so. And uh, how much do these things go for? 400. 400 bucks, so it's not too bad. Um, and then also, very easy to install. Comes with hardware and everything. All right, so these are the hardware, right? So it comes with all this in the packaging. And then also, what is the hardware made out of? Because that's what I found kind of interesting so as well. This is a stainless steel. Stainless um, steel. Fat washers, so it grabs a lot of the uh, lip. And then there's these little Delrin spacers because there is a little bit of a gap underneath your uh, your bumpers. Okay, so yeah, and this also, since it's made out of stainless steel, it's not gonna be coming off easily whatsoever. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on, show you guys how it looks when it's on the car. You guys saw how it looked, but I'm gonna show you guys the under portfolio and pretty much how it works and what purpose it serves exactly. Um, so yeah, ready to install it? All right, let's get it, let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me está sonando más que solo palabras Y si no las cumples, se van a desvanecer 
Algún día volverás Tú al lado mío Y yo de testigo Vamos un, dos, tres Sin estrés Muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres Moverlo sin pena, ven Sin estrés Muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres Sé que tú quieres conmigo, amor Alright guys, so you finally have the splitter on the bumper. So you guys, if you guys look at the bumper, there's no flex. Like zero. This thing is like rock solid. And uh, yeah, look at that guys. This thing's solid. Uh, so basically, this you pretty much mount it when the bumper is off the car. And then there's a two back here that's actually chassis mounted. And uh, there's a few spaces that comes with the kit. You just go ahead and put it there. It's just direct bolt-on. No need for uh, drilling into any of the parts of your car. The only thing you will need to drill into is your bumper when you actually get the, the, the keys lip. So you will need to get a carbon fiber lip. And once you get that, you can put on the splitter. Guys, it's, it's solid. It's on there. It looks really good. Like, look at the flow. Looks solid. But yeah, that's what I'm pretty much rocking right now. So if you guys are wondering, this is what it is. It's actually gonna be linked down below. I'm working with this company right now. So uh, I can definitely vouch. I've been using it for a little bit and uh, it's, I can definitely vouch it's a really good product. And it comes with everything. So if you guys have any problems, uh, you guys can let me know. But links down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and remove it because we have to add something to the car. I know we just put on the bumper, but we do have to add this blow off valve. I really want to hear how this car sounds with this blow off valve. So let's go ahead and remove the bumper and solve this bad boy. And uh, yeah. yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth.